So now we all know where the awards went. It's been a great night for Out of Africa, a very disappointing one for Steven Spielberg and the color purple. But as the winners try to control their manic laughter and the losers dry their tears, the Beverly Hilton Hotel prepares to welcome them all to the traditional governor's ball, a little dinner dance affair, which will set back all but the specially invited guests the small matter of 250 pounds a head. For that price, I bet the food is good. Congratulations. And my word, it was not before time, was it? <laughs> no, it came at just the right, the right time. It's very nice right now. Did you ever think it might never happen? Eight nominations, after all. Well, I've had such wonderful roles. I thought something's going to burst one of these days, and it has. This was the day. Yes. Did you have any kind of a premonition that this would definitely be the time? Well, my husband said you're in grave danger of winning at this time, and I guess he was right. <laughs> Commiserations. Oh, no, no. Well, this is a joyful night. I feel that anybody got nominated won. Well, I agree. And there I are no we, losers I on a night. We went as far as we could go with Murphy's Romance, and I'm tickled to death. How many? I'm happy for Bill Hurd. How many nominations have you had before? One. This oh, one. Okay. This? This one. So I'm just pleased as I can be. So it must have been good to be there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel wonderful. It was. It was really fun. I had a good time. <laughs> Not just a little bit disappointed? No, actually I was relieved because the, right from the beginning they said, don't say this, don't say that, don't say this, don't say that. And I was like going, okay, can't say that. Oh, oh, oh. And then I had no speed left. I was like, ah! What did they tell you not to say? Everything. You're supposed to thank your agents. You're supposed to thank your parents. You're supposed to thank the people you work with, the other actors, the directors, the editors, the music people. Oh, oh. Well, it would have been nice to have been in a position to not have to do that, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah, yeah, I guess so. But I had a good time. I thought it was a wonderful show. I, it was really great seeing all those people, which I've seen in like movies when I was growing up. It was great. Well, I liked you very much in the movie anyway. So. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you. you. Difficult business. <laughs> Do you want to talk to Louis Nelson? Just one second, please. Can, we just, can just you just, just a second? Angelica, just can you tell us anything about? Can you share your emotion? Sure. Sure. Well, sure. well, what a shame! It couldn't have been a family double with your father. I know, I know, but still. So he must be very, very pleased well. for you. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah. And you'll settle for the one. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I'm very very happy for. Frank Price, for Merrill, Bob, Klaus, the whole cast and crew. It's great for all of us because it was a picture that uh, was not an obviously commercial film when we started out. There were things against it. It was long. It was literary. It was without a lot of obvious melodrama. And to have it recognized like this is a wonderful thing for us. Do you think you've proven anything to Hollywood with the film? No, no, I don't think. Uh, things go in cycles. You, you know, I mean, what's wonderful about it is that it means there is a market for this kind of film which broadens the spectrum of what you can do and reach an audience with and so that's good for everybody how do you feel for sydney pollock i mean you went up there and picked up two oscars that's almost greedy i, I know it sounds <laughs> terrible and i'm sure you won't believe this but i'm i'm really i'm much more delighted with the best picture win really are you do any more acting Sure. Some, the, uh, somebody offers me like somebody offers me a terrific part that's fun. I'll be happy to do it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you were, very were much. Were you surprised at all that the color purple was frozen out tonight? Did that surprise you? Yeah, I, there were a lot of surprises tonight. You know, I mean, tonight was a hard one to call. Usually, you know which way they're going to go, but tonight was could have gone anyway. You know, it goes different different directions. Do you feel a little sympathy for um, for Steven Spielberg? I feel. Yeah. Yeah, but Steven knows better. I mean, this. This is great for the picture. Steven's picture will be a success with or without it. So would Out of Africa. It feels good to win, but, you know, I mean, he knows how good he is. I don't think you feel that these awards are really all that important. I mean, any awards, do you? I, I mean, we are not in sports. In sports, the, fast, the, the best is the best because there is a watch or whatever. But uh, it's very good to be in this game. It's a game, the whole thing, and uh, that's very nice. 
Well, as I noticed a couple of shots of you there in the audience, and you looked as if you were really quite amused by the whole proceedings. Yes, uh, the whole thing was a very good event, and uh, uh, I was a part of it, and so that was nice. Well, this is by no means the first time you've been to the Oscars, is no, it? No, uh, we were here in 82, where we won the Oscar for the best foreign language movie, Mephisto. So I have a little bit of experience. So tonight, though, is a little unfortunate because you lost out twice with the best foreign film and uh, best supporting actor. Yeah, but I participated in a movie which got seven Oscars out of Africa. That is very, very good. Yeah, I would think that the mood among the people who were involved with Out of Africa must be very good tonight. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I will join now the club and so we will have a drink. Well, have several. Congratulations, okay. Ken. Thank you. Bye-bye. This is the family. There's my mom and this is Jamie, my son, my daughter Angelina. Well, it's a shame that they weren't there. They couldn't see their father get an Oscar tonight. Oh, well, you know, perhaps there'll be another time. Well, I'm sure they will. Listen, is it true that before Runaway Train came along, you, you had no offers of work at all? Oh, no, that's not true. I've that's had many offers. I just am a little bit uh, kind of selective, I suppose. Yeah. So what, what, what happens now after tonight? Oh, well, we just uh, go on. I go on to do other... There's a film that I'm going to be doing at the end of the summer. And uh, I have a film coming out, actually, next, next month. Is this the first time you brought all the family to the Oscar? I don't know. It's a tough thing for them to sit it out, and they did very well. You know, they're my, uh, they're my loves, and they're very strong critics, and, you know, and my pals. And we, uh, we did very nicely tonight. Is it true this is the first time an artist has picked up an Oscar and a Grammy in the same year? Oh, God. <laughs> I am so happy I can't believe it. And, and tonight is just so special because I actually put a year's worth of work into this thing. I'm late on my album, and I'm, I'm glad we won it because I gave up a great deal for it, but I'm glad. I'm happy. But you were in there with two chances, really, weren't you? Two chances, but, but I'm going to tell you something. Working with my, and I consider Quincy my godfather. I mean, this guy, every time I get into trouble, I call him and tell him, how do I get out of this? The, the work with him on uh, Seely's Blues, and then to have this as Say You Say Me, I didn't write it to have two songs. I just were writing songs. It came out great. How do you feel? Do you feel anything, sympathy perhaps, for all the people on The Color Purple who didn't win anything tonight? Well, you know, I think about that, but tonight it's so, it's so weird because the older crowd that won tonight have only been there all their lives, and they put in a ton of work. So when you start thinking about nine times and nine losses, and then they won tonight. So for one respect, I'm sorry they lost the young kids, but in another respect, I'm glad the old ones finally got it. I should say the elders. And this one is the first of many, no doubt, oh, yeah? Please, let it keep coming. I love this. <laughs> this is great, and, and what, a, what a feeling. I mean, tonight it was wonderful. Well, you deserve it. It was a great song. Thank you, thank you. Well, I say to all the fans, they helped me push me through this thing. And so in the usual atmosphere of chaos, with half the world's media trying to interview everything that moves, we come to the end of yet another Oscar night. It's an interesting thought that if both the Houstons, John and Angelica, had won, a pleasing kind of history would have been established tonight. As it was, the only history that was made was a little bit sad. The color purple equaled the record set up a few years ago by the turning point by being nominated 11 times and winning nothing. Oh, well, that's show business. Meanwhile, inside there in the governor's ball, the winners, most, most of them from out of Africa, are enjoying themselves and no doubt laying the foundations for a healthy hangover in a few hours' time. On which note, from the Academy Awards in Los Angeles, goodbye. <laughs>